Hello and welcome back to Shadow Gambit 4. I assume almost the end of Act 2. Now we're getting somewhere. Let's first of all just uh, do a little bit of this. See if what can I do you for? Anyone else has one after this? Ship doctor? Ah, here for your checkup? Uh, checkup? Every member of the crew needs to be checked to see what they're made of. You're actually the first one to come voluntarily, considering all the probing I have to do. Um, yes, I meant to have the checkup right now, but something very urgent has come up. You know, uh, charting courses and such. Sure. Just remember, I'll get you eventually. Uh... I'm just kidding. But yeah, come on over sometime. It'll be fun. <laughs> I'm sure it will. <laughs> See you, so lady. Bye, girl. <laughs> ah, tell me, what did that monkey do? Ruin my latest experiment. When I get my hands on her... Uh. Oh, I see. Back to the sea. My sight reaches far. Yeah, Where the wind the blows, quest. cannonballs fly. Yeah. Let's see what's up. Golden greeting. I think he's up the other end anyway. Golden greeting. Yep, so just uh, three left, but we're gonna get uh, Toya finally. So his skills are oh, pretty good anyway. Yeah, I think I was saying at some point when I was talking about reviving him next that uh, I did the demo run with him instead of Suledly. That was uh, interesting to uh, learn a different playset, but uh, obviously I've been doing the same thing here anyway with uh, different party makeups. Another black pearl in my chest. A feast of energy for my soul. Much obliged. So, you're Toya of the East. Just Toya, if you please. This ocean has been my home for longer than I ever lived in Japan. You're the assassin who challenged the Dread Captain and became the ship's cook. You seem to know a lot about me, when I don't even know your name. A fia monicato. I'm the Mali's new navigator, recently hired. Hmm, a promising start. I look forward to seeing you work, a fia monicato. Welcome back, ship cook. You must get used to your new pearl quickly. The training deck is ready for you. Understood. A few minutes of practice will be all I need. <laughs> right, one second, I need to go and get my drink that is um, actually not where I thought it was. <laughs> Couldn't have a sip during that cutscene. All right, let's go. In a moment. The bird song beckons, an enemy approaches. Death awaits the fiend. Wait, the dish you know. takes shape. <laughs> Raise with your legs. And over they are. I think this one's about how Commissarius. For someone whose bones brim with soul energy, your little flute remains humble. That's Noise it. is the salt of any good ambush recipe. 
Magic or no, the oldest tricks never fail. Yeah. Yeah, like a lot, a lot of uh, everyone else's abilities. Get ready to strike. Quickly, a familiar tune. Oh, we can move, move to. Our objective is clear. A heavy customer. Blood and silence. A useful gift. Raise with your legs. I throw you over? No. I mean, it probably doesn't count inside training missions for body hiding anyway. The fight begins. Oh, step. Love this ability, this is neat. A good starter. The trap is set. So that automatically places one over there so we can just Ooh, my charm floats gently. Show that one off immediately. Death by seven cuts. A heavy customer. Hmm. Very traditional. I can be anywhere. Now come up. A simple method of deception. Simple. Thing made that noise. Good taste. Raise with your legs. Right, so he's a same as Sulili. Uh, yeah. Move like water. I follow the plan. Mm. A leaf on the wind. Yeah, now we can't do it through the wall, unlike uh, John. I shouldn't need it, but. I'll hold on to this. I carry this burden. I will be back. <laughs> Another recipe executed to perfection. The enemy is finally sliced. Seven cups is a bit extravagant, don't you think? Of course. Any recipe needs flavor. Hey! Give me my key. A lock needs a key. Oh. Doors over here. I'll clean customer. one up. On my way. And to the challenge level. Or I remember one certain bit. I don't I'm know if it's the bit we start off with. Yes, it is. A challenge, is it? Excellent. I'll have a taste of your cooking, Marley. It will be done. An ambush in the making. I spot this is an alternate way I'm doing it now. Aye. That's cool. What is that? Whoops. I forgot you can uh, see over there. Hmm. Tradition. Servant of the grand design. Raise with your legs. Measure. Calculate. Follow the noise. Rectify. Two in one. Preparing the ingredients. Come back. Come on, back in the range. Was it a trick? I follow the plan. 
A useful gift. Shadow Blade. I will be back. Move with speed. Who disturbs my sacred task? Do 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 do. do. I like my opponent. I suppose you're not quite in the bush. Was the way out? Ah, this bit. Our objective is clear. And to use the rooftops. This has got no roof. A fine blend of memories. Nakama. The oldest tricks are the best. Simple. I heard that you fiend. Raise with your legs. <laughs> A good starter. I'm going in. Yeah, I can't get across to that one. A simple method of deception. Tomonikudo. A memory for the Mari's hold. Let's add some flavor. The trap is set. One arm, two souls. No, no, that one. Good taste. <laughs> Enough. I made that noise. Leaves hide all manner of things. The useful gift. <laughs> the fight begins. No need for the rest, but uh... I cannot lose. <laughs> A heavy customer. A refined decision. I am the blade. A taste of raise with your legs. Hey! Oh, shortcut over there. Fine. That works. <laughs> Much quicker than uh, Giles. Oops. Well done, ship cook. Now the riddle hold awaits your blade. All right, time for the next step in the story. I follow the plan. Troy. Aye. Here to reap the culinary plunder of land and sea, and discover the perfect recipes for the dead. That should be satisfactory. I will return to my galley now, if you don't mind. Lots of skeletons to feed. Navigator, I believe it's time we unearth the secrets of the Riddle Hole. Talk to Estelle when you are ready. Aye, aye. Hmm. Hey! Well, first, we're gonna have a bit of banter with the. Uh... The ship. Ship cook. It's good to feel the warmth of your kitchen again. Likewise, 
Though I noticed our larders are woefully empty. I'm afraid Ignatius' lackeys have burned most of our unholy provisions. Cooking without ingredients is like heading into battle without a blade. The skeletons will restock supplies in time. Meanwhile, you could see your limited options as a challenge. A challenge, you say? I see. Most intriguing. A stew of figurehead moss. Fried barnacles from the bow. A red soup wrung from your oily sails. Now that I hear you describe it, I'm rather glad I don't have taste buds. Do not fear, Marley. Just as any fight can be won, so can any dish be made palatable with the right technique. I have never served anything but excellence to the skeletons. I would rather see them starve. I know else. At your service. I like these odds. Balanced to perfection. Ah, tell me, what did that monkey do? Ruin my latest experiment. When I get my hands on her, now we're getting somewhere. Come back. What is it? Toya, may I ask, what brought you to the Marley? The cooking contest. Ah, on the ship? What? No, back on Soulspire. I'd been there for some time after I lost my crew and captain at Madre Grande. I was cooking just for myself, perfecting my technique. I was focusing on winning the annual cooking contest at Bonnie's Galley. Then Mordecai comes along, cocky, throwing out challenges left and right. He said, if he beat me in this year's contest, I had to join his crew. And? Did he win? He came in last. <laughs> I had never seen such horrendous cooking. I knew then that if I did not join his crew, they'd have to endure his culinary travesties. <laughs> you should have given him lessons too. I tried. But his lack of talent was a challenge too steep even for me. <coughs> Uh, right, let's do um, ah, salt John's crew tail as well. The temples would like that. Oh, he was taking the shortcut. I <laughs> wonder what was going on. I uh, tell you, what's uh, you know cooking? I'm currently boiling ghost wheats with a hint of rotten lemongrass. Aha, it does smell the part. Hmm. In a good way, of course. How can I help you, John? I need starfish intestines and turtle eggs. That horrible recipe again. You know I have several ideas on how to refine it. Ah, Toya, it's supposed to be ghastly, not gourmet. <sighs> All right. I have a starfish here, but it is my last one. I cannot part with it. My turtle eggs are already missing. I presumed you'd already taken some for your leisure. You know, I never take one without asking. No, you usually ask. I say no, we play cards, you lose and then you take them anyway. As I said, I never take without asking. <sighs> Look, go talk to Estelle. She guards the Mali's turtle pasture. See if you can get pasta and get some eggs. Ah, you're a good lad, Toya Raviga. I'll go see Estelle right away. Careful, I select the right option then. A pirate's delight. <laughs> Estelle, you bearded squirrel. Toya said there was a turtle pasture somewhere in the Marley. <laughs> ah, great. I gotta go there, you know. What? I can't give you Sir Reginald as a deposit. <laughs> You're mad. He's my fish companion, not my pirate pass. Oh, don't you go being a hero now, Reg. <laughs> Pah! 
We'll find another way. Don't you wait. Come on, Reg. Let's just try poking around in the below a bit ourselves. At some point, we ought to find what we're looking for. I'm coming, Sir Reginald! Someone's got to wash my eyes out after seeing that. Yuck. Back on the top. Let's go under for a bit. Nah, it's not here. Although these rusty nails look mighty useful. Right, right, I'm coming, Sir Reginald. Oh. Alright, where's the log? No, nope. uh, that one. Uh. Oh. There was one hiding. Would you look at that? That's our little turtle pasture. They seem to like it here. Yeah, yeah, I know. The turtles always have it better than you do. A pirate's delight. Let's go, Sir Reginald. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, great! That's all I needed. Thanks a lot, folks. Now, Sir Reginald, we must leave the same way we came, using my anchor. Can't have a stell knowing about our little back door. Aye! Legs done. I'm certain the Marley will be elated to hear about our progress, Sir Reginald. That's what we do. Hi, Marley. It's Sir Reginald and me looking to check in. How's the rot holding up? It's just a dirty spot. Ha! I disagree to agree. Fortunately, I found a turtle pasture below deck, so it won't take long anymore. Yes, very fortunate. Now, there's just a starfish missing. I just got to see if Toya is willing to play me for it. I'm happy to hear that there's no chance of you receiving the final ingredient then. Ha! Don't you wait, Marley. Sir Reginald and I may have some tricks up our sleeve. It's probably unwise to tell me that you're planning to cheat. Cheat? Nah, of course not. Um, well, we've got to get going now. Come, Sir Reginald, there's some preparing we have to do. There we go. <laughs> uh, shall I activate that now? Yeah, let's... Let's see what's out there. This will probably give us uh, at least one next mission, or there might be a bunch. Let's find out. Consider it done. Ahoy there, Estelle. You know where we're going. <laughs> yes, yes. Riddle hold now, bananas later. The path has opened. Proceed, navigator. Now we're getting somewhere. I'll be there soon. Well, well. Another ominous door. Look at that scar. 
I'd say it's missing an eye. An eye? Hmm. Tell me, do you know where the captain's nickname came from? Black Eye Mordecai. Always assumed he got that in a brawl. A brawl? Please. It was because he truly had a black eye. He claimed that it was once touched by a creature from the deepest below. And if he didn't keep it covered, it would show him the future and drive him mad. Futures left untold. So that's the final relic. And where's his black eye now? That is the catch. Most likely, the captain's eye is still in the captain's skull. Ah, the one Ignatia has, I presume. Eye navigator. We must take it from her. We must prepare our move against Ignatia. I have gathered everyone at the map table. I like it already. Uh, okay. <laughs> Fine. Everyone, Ignatia holds the final key to the captain's riddle. A dangerous mission lies ahead. We will steal her trophy from the sea fort, Gran Alcazar. About time we get payback for that ambush. Clavia, she will not see us coming this time. Ah, another clash between us and that hulking hammer hag. <laughs> I have a bolt for Ignacia right here. Her judgment is long overdue. A feast awaits us. Victory is on the menu. There's something we should not ignore. Ignatia dangled Mordecai's skull before us like a fat purse. Aye, she knew we'd need his black eye. Ample time to prepare a trap, eh? We best tread carefully. I say we split the crew. Have two well-balanced teams. One team heads in first to claim the skull. Should things turn sour, the other comes to the rescue. Hmm. I think that's agreeable. We will go with your plan. Chart a course to Gran Alcazar as soon as you can. Let's take back what's ours. Hmm. No second thoughts, eh? I like that one. <laughs> Gathered everyone in the map room. Come and talk to me instead. And then we're in the map room anyway. <laughs> Let's just go and have a look. Set a course, navigator. So does that mean there's... Eh, yeah, there's probably another small island maybe hidden between that, so it's at least three other islands maybe? Plus one or two more, maybe? Let's go and have a look. Gran Alcazar. This Inquisition fortress is a bleak insight into the world the Zealots envision. Behind its impregnable walls, every stone has been carefully arranged to conform with their grand design. Acolytes undergo rigorous training at the barracks and smithy. Their schedule planned down to the second. At the Divinatorium, the Zealots peer into the Maiden's fire to gain their crazed visions, before resting their mind at the gardens. Pilgrims arrived here daily to pray at the open cathedral, a monument to the Inquisition's self-aggrandizing history. Since Ignatia has taken residence here, Grand Alcazar has been closed to pilgrims. No doubt in preparation for some vile rite of hers. Delightful. Uh, still a crew size of three, but yeah, I guess. Yeah. We shall see about the next time then. That's going to be very interesting indeed. Uh, have I got time? Ah. Maybe. I really want to do that right now, Consider but that it done. could take longer than I expect. Hmm. I suppose we shall see. Oh, yeah. Of course, we only have six crew members. Actually, hang on. Let's have a look at the upgrades. Uh, what have we got? Um, right, you have. That's pretty nice. Um, we've already oh ah Toya yes. 
Stop forgetting him. Ew. Hmm. Very interesting. Damn it. I'm gonna have a choice next time we get uh, enough bigger, which won't be that soon. <laughs> We're gonna ways to go for that. I like these odds. So yes, I will see you next time for uh, the next mission. Yes, um, just trying to think of what party members I'm going to use. I'll do that off screen. Goodbye for now. <laughs>